Hey, you guys, I'm Phil Town from Real One Investing. And today I want to talk to you about the best ways to invest in stocks in 2022. So we're at the early stages of a new year, and that's a time to set new goals, time to make some big changes in what you're thinking about doing out there. But just because we flip the calendar over doesn't mean everything's going to change, especially when it comes to the stock market. We are still experiencing rising inflation and rising interest rates are about to start. We've got shortages of raw materials. We got long wait times for many goods. We got grocery shelves in some cities are empty and we've got a booming housing market. Not to mention that while we thought the pandemic would be long over by now, Man, COVID cases are screaming at an all-time high and everybody's getting it. And maybe it's going to burn out. Now, if you don't know how to invest in the midst of all this kind of uncertainty in the market, ha, you are not alone. You can start by picking up my Investing for Beginners guide at the link below, and that'll help you get thought and get thinking about it, get thoughtin' about it. But here, I want to talk to you guys about a few of the best ways to invest this year. So let's dive in. The first way, and a good way to stay out of trouble, is to only invest in companies that you understand, that you understand, all right? So even if you buy a company that's, and you got the price wrong and you paid too much, whatever, if you understand that business and you understand it to be a great company, then great. You invest in that company stock, you're an owner of the company, and it just isn't smart to own a company you don't understand. And if you understand the basics of how the company works and you think you might want to invest, then what I would do is begin to evaluate it with the four M's. So it has to have meaning to you that matches your values and you understand the business it has to have a really good management team with a good track record of success. And here's super important. It has to have a durable, protective something like some kind of a moat, a durable competitive advantage that separates it from the competition. That's just so critical. I can't even tell you how important that is in the kind of economy we're going into with rising inflation. And finally, you gotta buy this thing with a margin of safety. You have to insist on it. What insist on it means is you don't get to go tell the market, I insist, I insist. It means you have the discipline to understand the business well enough to know the value and then the discipline to make sure you don't buy it until the price is 50% below the value. We call this on sale. That's when you buy. You don't buy it at 60% or 80%. You have the discipline to buy it at 50% off. That gives you a margin of safety in case you're off on the valuation and in case the economy does different than things that you expect it to. Now, to determine whether a company's on sale or not, evaluate just a small number of critical financial metrics, numbers. These are the big five numbers. Number one, what is the long-term return on invested capital and is it continuing to go up? Number two, is the sales growth rate steady and or to going up? Is the earnings per share growth rate steady to going up? Is the equity growth rate, that's book value plus dividends plus buybacks, is that steady to going up? And finally, cash flow, is it steady to going up? Those metrics right there, you can do that just, you know, get my book, Rule One Investing. It shows you how to do it real quick using an Excel spreadsheet or get on our tool set at ruleoneinvesting.com. You can do it right there. They can reveal how solid a company is and if it's likely to continue to grow in the future. And this is a huge key to making a good investment in a wonderful business, especially when we don't know where this market's going to go. So I dive into all five of these big numbers and how to calculate them as well as how to use the four M's in my investing for beginner's guide right there. Grab, grab it. It's right there below you guys and start learning how to invest in stocks, even in a market as unpredictable as this one. It will walk you through the steps you can take to find wonderful companies. And I didn't talk a lot about it, but you're going to want to buy them on sale. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you plan to invest in stocks this year? And if so, what types of wonderful companies are you looking at? I'd love to go in there and take a look at them with you. Now, leave a comment below with your answer. I'll be sure to follow up with you. And thanks for watching. Now, go play. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you feel it was more valuable and teaching you more about the best ways to invest in stocks this year, hit the like button. Please share the video with your friends. If you want more investing content, just subscribe to my channel. And by the way, we got a free gift. Just click the button. And thanks again for watching.